know it's really chaos over here. Ah! Son of a Get over here, boy! Come here! How's the new little dog doing? Get him! You little oh, look what I found. Whoa, whoa, that's what we're looking for, bud. Oh, that's nice. It horse's looks like a horse's ass, dude. Look at it. There's the horse's ass. See the tail flapping in the wind? All right, here we go, Pete. Yeah, take it easy on that needle, dude. I'll take it easy. Payback time. It takes man's best friend. This little right here is the only thing that keeps you going. I got him. <laughs> little son of a My name's Pete. You probably know me from my video blogs and my shop. Southwest Ride and Custom. Yeah, that's my wife, Minnie. She works with me, too. She's the one that puts up with all my crazy BS. I love this shop. This place is my church. It's crazy here. There's all kinds of oddballs to stop by. Oh, Pete! I try to help him, but in the end, come here. It always seems to bite get me him, back. Get him. But hey, it's the struggle that keeps you going. Well, I dumped all my money in buying this Mustang, and what do you think happens? The buyer drops out. But you know what? I'm happy to do it. I am, too. He wanted all that. those changes and stuff. And then he's lucky I didn't cuss him out. Hell, I told you not to buy the car in the first damn place. Well. But you don't listen. You need to promise not to ever do this Promising well, Of course not, because. This is how we make a living. Why should I promise? Why should I promise something like that how can you make when a I living? do cars? How can you make that a doesn't even make sense. You lose money on it. That's not making a living. Okay. I just want to be able to pay the bills when they're due. And we do pay them. Not when they're due. All right. When, when the car sells. Get extensions OK, the and time. then when the car sells, you can make up for all that and say, here's your pay. And then next month, we'll probably be behind on it again. So what? Anyway, the guy's history, all right? Who Thank cares? God. I'm just hoping we can actually really sell it. I need $14,750 for the Mustang, and I gotta get the word out. And what do you expect? Minnie's got her own ways of advertising it, the cheap route. What's going on? I made up a list. What do you mean, a list for what? A list where we can sell the Mustang. I see all these sites I found on the internet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're what free. What are you talking about? They're free. Does it doesn't cost anything. Nobody looks at the free ads. We're not even done with the car yet. I know. You keep jumping the gun about selling it now. I mean, we can you do it You don't understand. For this for is now. a 66 GT Mustang, OK? I know it is, Pete. Okay. I know what it is. It doesn't matter what kind of car it is. Would you actually advertise a car for sale that you're in the middle of painting? When you need the money that bad and your husband goes out and buys a stupid car for $5,000, we can advertise it. If I it advertise free it free with. on the local free crap, OK, we're only going to get local guys. Well, local have people to have money, too. I think we're jumping the gun. I think we need to take the ad off and don't even. No, 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 no. For 60 days, we get 150 bucks. 60 Shh. days, you got 10 Quit pictures. Screaming. You get 10 pictures, OK? Why don't I just advertise it that it needs painted, and we'll just sell it for $5,000? OK. OK, since let's I got our money since back. I already got another 3500 invested in it, let's do that. Well, then sell it for So then we will lose money, OK? Yes. We have to sell the Mustang. That's the hope. We'll get the free ones for you. Don't worry. Right. I got to advertise it. I've sold cars before. You know that. You shouldn't have bought it. Now, that's all there is about it. We're going to sell the car. Don't worry. All right, we'll sell the damn thing. Jeez. Let's just get the car done and see what happens, OK? I mean, I think you're going All way right. too well, far on the situation. I want to get the car done ASAP. Jeez. Whoa, whoa, whoa. OK, look here, Carlos. We got us a situation, bud. This is a Mustang we're painting, OK? OK. Brenda, here's the situation. I got to get the Mustang painted. I need the color to match perfect so I don't have to paint all the door jams and the engine compartment and the trunk lid and everything else. But my paint guy, Gigi, he's kind of a hit and miss guy. I don't even know if he can come through with that deal. Comprende, my friend? Yeah, what happened? We need to get this paint mixed up perfect, dude. There's only about a million rides, I didn't give him you know. a code. I sent the piece down there to match it, OK? OK. You take it back to Gigi. OK. You tell him I want it perfect. Last time he mixed the paint up or whoever mixed it up didn't get it right, all right? OK. All right, dude. I'll see you when. How long is it going to take, Carlos? Give me about like 
20, 25 minutes. 25 minutes? You know, I can't believe every time I order something from him, every third time he messes it up. No, I I'm... want it right, dude. Don't tell me you're going to go to the store 25 minutes to come back. You need a call with you Gigi. You know, comprende. I call Gigi. You take it back. All right. I'll okay. see you later, dude. Um, All right, bud. OK. I got my name, dude. You tell him I want it just right. Yeah, you call Gigi. And you I call Gigi. Because I'm a just driver. Vamo nos amigos. OK, no sabe. Exactly, bud. I'll see you later. Fixing up old cars isn't the only thing I do around here. You know, while I'm working on the Mustang, another project drops in my lap. Southwest. So I got the call from this guy, George. Hey, it's George Appleton. I came in with a 70 Barracuda a couple weeks ago. The Barracuda. Oh, yeah, the primered one. What's going on, George? I'm calling up that art piece I saw in your, in your office. Did Which you one? I got a lot of stuff. The tail fin? Oh, yeah, the one my son made. He wanted to buy that tail fin that PJ did when he was 12. I ain't selling that, all right? That's like, you know, means a lot to me. I really like the Christ, I really like a tail fin. Uh, uh huh. What, I mean, what do you want? You want you want, you want want something like that Cadillac tail fin that I made? Yeah, please. And if you could do like the, the lights to work, I think that would, that would look really Yeah, cool. that would really look cool if we had the lights work. I was going to do that on that Cadillac one. I never got around to it, though. All right, I'll tell you what. Let me, uh, let me get some stuff together, bud, and uh, I'll give you a call back. Okay. Yeah, that sounds great. All right, George. I'll talk to you later. Talk don't you later. don't forget me when that car needs painted, but I need the business, George. All right, so I got this 1926 Ford Model T. It is the true definition of what I call a rat rod. I've been looking at my car for a while, and, and I like to change things around. I, I get bored pretty easily with artwork. I like this checkered skull that I drew up. What's up, dude? What's going on? Hey, what's up, man? What you got there, man? Man, I just got some new prints made. So here's Chris telling me about this skull head he wants to which I don't even have time to look at it. Can I look Wait at him for a minute? Now, Pete, I somewhat value his opinion when it comes to my car. You trying to put a new design on there? I'm just tired of that one, man. I want to put on something new. I go over to his tattoo shop. I tell him how to do it. He comes over here and tries to tell me how to do it. That one kind of looks like that one. I wouldn't go with that. Yeah, but it's a different skull. I don't think it really matters what he says. I'm going to go with this checkered skull anyway. I'll tell you one thing, dude. That's one thing you know how to do is draw your art, dude. So Wednesday, you think I can get in the paint booth for a couple Wednesday? hours to get these oh, whoa, skulls whoa, whoa, painted? Whoa, whoa, dude. Let me tell you something, bud. We're trading out work, and I just want to get into his booth for a couple of hours. It costs $150 to change them air filters out. Make sure you got your cash to buy those as well. You said that was going to be free. You no. said my labor, Why is everybody work? getting free sh from me, bud? Here goes Pete about Freebie Brothers, Freebie this, and all that. Y'all trade that freebie okay. stuff back and forth. Back no, and forth. we don't, oh, because yeah, usually you, do. you get pissed off and you get mad because I'm trading out with them. When we get all this work done that we got to do around here and get everything done that we need to do, OK, you can pull this thing in the paint booth for six days. I don't give a Well, since Chris is already here, I might as well use him and abuse him like I should anyway. I'll go ahead and throw him on the art project so I can concentrate on getting the Mustang done. And we got a guy named George Apple. What was his name? Appleton? He wants an art piece like my Cadillac fan that PJ made. The green one up there? Yeah. What are you thinking? Pete's telling me about this project, and you know, I didn't think he was gonna actually let me kind of like take charge of it. I'm gonna be honest with you, dude. I really like the f Etzel piece that you made. It's a beautiful piece. Chris and Charlie did a great job on the Etzel. I'm a tattoo artist by trade. I, I still work that full time, and uh, that's actually where I met Pete. I'm thinking if we took the double fins and we kind of put them like this, you see what I'm saying? One here, one there. Yeah, and I, I was I got thinking you. of taking some, since it's going to be a 50s bomb, we could take some uh, airplanes, the old hood ornament airplanes. Yeah. We could have like dive bombing into the. You know, I'm thinking, all right, he's actually trusting me now. Did I say I trusted you? No, I said I'm going to be working with you on it. Well, all right, I didn't same hear the thing. Word trust, but... Same thing. Chris is fact infatuated with this art thing now. I get pretty excited about these projects. Pete knows I, I do. He's he into wants it. to take all my old cars in the back and start chopping them up. I, I'll make a deal with you. What? You, you'll buy the parts to make oh, this so thing. So I'm going to buy everything. Well, it's, yeah. It's my shop, so what about it? All right. And if he doesn't like it. If I it, mess it up, I'll pay you back for those parts. That sounds great. All right. But do if you got I make any it, ideas you on sell it, though? you give me 10%. I give you ten, but you, you got a better. Your, your business is running better than mine, dude. Okay, I'll tell you what. I think what, I proved myself a little good, bit. I'll with give the you ten percent of how much ever it buys it for. All right, but. You know 
this is major damage here, dude. Oh, come on, Pete. Look I'm... at this frame, bud. This whole thing is crushed nah, in, dude. You got the fenders uh, in the it, back, Pete. This ain't no buddy deal here, dude. I'm always cutting you deal. He's the guy. He's the guy that you always help, no matter what happens. There's always that guy. Is that needle going to be kind of heavy tonight? He's tattooed head to toe. You, you think, oh, this guy, he's tough. He can handle this. He was going, hmm. Easy, baby. Did that hurt? Yeah, don't do that. I can't believe it. The buyer falls out on the Mustang. I got many on my back about all the bills we owe and all the money I spent on the Mustang. And then, all of a sudden, here comes used car Larry. What's going on, Larry? What's up? Hey, Pete, look, I mean, uh, I got you a car. I'm... You know, that Chevy Lumine he brought over here is like Completely all the other junkers. Out. It's a nice car. It takes a little bit of This is work. not a nice car, Larry. Come on, dude. The thing's totaled out in the front end. Oh, man, look at it. It's hardly dented. I mean, it's, you know, it's got one little dent here. and. A little bit on that side. I mean, says he bought it on the internet for 500 bucks. When I heard that, I'm thinking, oh my God, what the? You know this is major damage here, dude. Oh, come on, Pete. Look I'm... at this frame, bud. This whole thing is crushed nah, in, dude. Okay. Shoot, this is a $500 job, man. The deal with Larry, okay, is he's a 20-year-old friend. Long-time right. friend. Open the hood. Let's see what we got, bud. <laughs> I don't know why. This is an easy job. What the? So now we need two headlights. I mean, this is... You are joking, man. All right. No, this is you, a good... Look at here, bud. You got major frame damage, Larry. The motor mounts are pushed over, OK? I'm, I literally, the motor mounts are right here. They were like this. Come it's, on, it's, man. It's a bolt back together, Look, I don't man. mind helping you out, but 500 bucks, dude. The radiator and the condenser were smashed up against the motor. Like, if I buy all the parts, go to the junkyard, get them whatever, will you do it for three? You can't do what? Every time I give him a price, I'm honest. I'm telling him 500. I know, but what he and what is he? He comes down. He, he always comes three. down 200. Hold on, at dude. We started out at five. At you're down to three. Yeah, but that at doesn't five, make. you were gonna do the parts. <laughs> you're a real clown. No, act, I mean, I got the. I, look, on, I hold got. Hold on. The... Okay, I, look. <laughs> this ain't no buddy deal here, dude. I'm always cutting you deal. Okay. I'll get a list together. You go buy all the parts for it, okay? All right. You know. Okay. okay Minnie doesn't like these buddy deals, and you know it. He's the guy. He's the guy that you always help, no it's matter what happens. There's know. always that guy. Enough. All right, okay. dude. I'll see you later. OK. Bud. You want me to put this back on? Yeah, do that. Yeah, what's up? Hey, what is up with Larry? What about what Larry, babe? Illumina, I've known dude. him 20 years. You know, I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for Larry. Larry, OK, is the guy. Okay, he's like the guy in your life that says, Pete, I'm here to help you, okay? I'm your big brother. You see what I'm saying? Hey, who helped us when our air conditioner broke down? Uh -huh. Yeah. Larry, if we went, uh, if it wasn't for Larry, our air conditioner unit wouldn't be here now. What do you want me to do? I know, but what are you going to do to that car, man? What do you think I'm going to do? I don't have a choice but to fix this stuff. You know, it's like you got to take care of the people that take care of you. That's what friends are all about. So, That's true. One yeah. hand washes the other, you know. I'm not going to just slop it together where someone gets killed in it. It's just a scuff and paint then? Basically a scuff and paint job, yeah. Well, All hopefully right. this will be the last one. I seriously doubt it. Yeah. He wants to paint the top of his car, too. But sometimes it gets a little out of hand. Well, he picks inconvenient times to come up here when we're really, really, really busy. Pete literally just rips it off the car. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, OK? I didn't even think you could do that. If I would have brought 1200 bucks, 1500 I could have bought a lot of hood ornaments. No, that's cool, man. All right. Now, so we're walking all around this place. What do we got here, bud? And I mean, sitting there almost magically is this Chrysler rear end. A 1960 Chrysler Saratoga. Saratoga, that's Do you know how rare a Saratoga is? Chrysler Now, here's a whole rear end already cut off. A 1960 was basically the year of the transformation. Hold on, let's check it out. Here, take all this stuff off. Let's see what we got. Fins were disappearing. So the Saratoga was a very rare car, OK? Now, you see there, that's what I'm talking about, taking something like this and making some art out of it, bud. Just load it up. The guy said to find something and bring it up there. All right, so we're going to take this one. We're taking this one, dude. Keep going. That's good. You got it? 
Come on, come on. That's good. There it is. Let's get the guy paid, get the hell out of here. We got a lot of work to do, dude. But the situation you have with that junkyard, they're a little bit on the high price. Wow. Got her all loaded down? Got her loaded down, bud. What are we looking at, David? How about $1,000 for the whole thing? $1,000? Come on, Dave. I got 700 bucks, dude. 700 bucks for the rear end was enough. That's all I could do, Dave. Come on. All right, buddy, you're a good $700. guy. $700. You're a good guy. Is that dude. cool? Yeah, fair enough. Thanks fair a lot, Dave. All right, thank you. Your brother ain't going to like it. No, he's going to he's gonna, he's gonna grab at me all afternoon. You, we only buy stuff if we need it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Little does she know. There's so much stuff going on around here. I got the Lumina I got to fix. I got our projects going on. I got the Mustang I got to get painted. And guess what happens? A new buyer walks into the picture for the Mustang. So this guy came over. How's it going? Hey, what's up? Being in primer like that, I was really scared to even show it to these well, people. Well, I know. Is this the uh, Mustang you'll have on the internet? Yeah, yeah, it is. Were you interested in looking at it? I sure am. All right, well, let me go get Pete. Uh, Charlie, can you open up the hood so he can look at that? Sure. I'll Thank be right you. back. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? How you doing? Brian. Shake your hand, make a friend. All right. Can I catch your name? My name's Pete. Pete, nice yeah, to meet you. How you doing, buddy? Well, tell me a little bit about it. Well, it's a 66 Mustang, just like I said on the internet. Yeah. You know, these guys come over here, they check it out, they kick the tires, they got their hands in their wow. pockets. It's got the high output uh, cam and all that in it. It's got the power steering on it. Nice. You know, basically, like I said on the internet, okay? But it is a convertible. See what I'm saying? My wife had a Mustang like this. Yeah. We had to get rid of it. And uh, she had one? She sure did. What did she have, bud? She had a 66, so I want to surprise her. I think this might be the Mustang to do that with. He's like, you know, straightforward, to the point, like, yeah, well, what, what, tell me about it. OK, what about it? My wife used to have one. Well, I like it, Pete. I like it. What do you think? I like it dude? a lot. I know you came over here, and it's looking like a piece of <laughs> but I can guarantee you, dude, this car is going to be like a show car, OK? Well, I'll tell you what, why don't you come back in about a week or so, a week and a half, and I'll okay. have it all painted. You can check it out. And so, you know, I that was cool. I think he might cool. actually even have the money to and buy And a matter of fact, he told us to call him when we got it all back together. All, all right, right, Pete. I appreciate, appreciate your time, easy, buddy. All right, let me tell you what. Money talks and bull walks. Whoever shows up with the money first Yeah, and laws is 14750. Well, I don't... That's my lucky number. Okay. 14750. We'll see. Hold on, what? Yeah, go ahead. You're not gonna feel a thing, Pete, I promise. Wow, now that, my friend, is a nightmare. Sledgehammer helps, too. Sledgehammer helped a lot. all the craziness going on and all the money problems we have, me and Minnie really need to get some R&R &R going. I call Chris's tattoo shop for a favor. So I'm sitting at the tattoo shop and Pete comes on in and uh, now he's the one looking for the freebie. And what is he wanting? He's wanting my piece of art that he's looking at earlier saying. And I wouldn't go with that. He wants the checkered skull tattooed on him. I think it's better. So I saw that. Like, hey, man, let's do that. Man, tattoo. I was looking at it. I thought, hell yeah. Me. That's why we're here, dude. And he's got hundreds of tattoos, but he is the biggest baby in the world when it comes to getting tattoos. Is that needle going to be kind of heavy tonight? You're not going to. Payback don't, time. Uh, dude, don't be smiling like that, dude. Come on. Payback time. Let's just get her done, OK? All right, here we go, Pete. Yeah, take it easy on that needle, dude. I'll take it easy on you. He starts just moaning and crying. And you got to be still, man. I'm dying. You gonna make it, Pete? Yeah. And of course, he's putting that needle in there as hard as he can, okay? Because it's my friend Pete, okay? Hey, man, don't be getting shaky on the lines on me. Come on, dude. <laughs> and he's doing it on purpose, all right? You're the one shaking. He was going Zzz. Easy, baby. Did that hurt? Yeah, don't do that, man. All right, Pete. That is it, man. I can't believe it that you actually made it. It's pretty nice. All right, let me go get Minnie, dude. I gotta... All right, wait, I'll hey, see you later, hold on. Dude. I need to put a bandage on that, Pete. 
So I did this big tattoo on Minnie's back. <laughs> Thanks, man. It's a big, beautiful piece, bunch of flowers and stuff. Oh, you're going to do the butterfly? Oh, that's going to hurt. Hold on, what? Yeah, go ahead. You're not going to feel a thing, Pete, I promise. Yeah, you're right. There's a couple little spots that need to be touched up in it. It has some significance for her mother, and, you know, and a few different things, stories in her life. The butterflies are for my mother. But the skull heads, because you don't like skull heads, what were those for? Mm, that hurts. It was for me and you. Me and you? Mm -hmm. For what? Forever together. Forever together, <laughs> wow. She handles this yeah, thing does. like a champ. She, does. she can take the pain a lot better than me. Well, dude. yeah, she's sitting here talking to us. And Pete, look, she... Pete just sits there and hyperventilates the whole time, <laughs> praying for it to be done. <laughs> All right, Minnie, you're done. Done, yay! You are officially yeah. done. Look at she okay. doesn't. She ain't even bitching or complaining. Well, like it was friend. just <laughs> some little touch-up spots, that's all. Yeah, well. So, no, yeah, he did a good tattoo on there, and it looks great. Yeah, he was. You think I should have threw him 10 bucks or at least something? Well, hell no. Why not? Because he owes us. You know what? The tattoo Chris gave me looks great. But the situation we have is, He's got to get some of that artistic view of his going at my shop so we can get some stuff done over here. So we got this project laid out. You know, he puts me in charge of this thing. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty confident with this project. I think I can pull this off. That looks exactly like the back of the car. I think that's going to look pretty nice. I like it. But I definitely don't want to keep looking at it. I might want to keep it. I gave him a drawing, he approved the drawing, he seemed to really like it, you know, so the next thing we're gonna do now is just start chopping this thing up and uh, hopefully come out with a piece of art and uh, not just a catastrophe. Ready? Go. 700 bucks is a lot for a couple of fins off of a car. This is going to have to be the outside fin. The other side's got missing metal. It's got a door. That makes me a little nervous. I didn't know we were going to have that much money into this All thing. All right, guys. <laughs> really, we cannot mess this one up. <laughs> All right, I made some stupid deal with him. I didn't All know right. he was going to pay $700 for this piece of junk. One fender. We got the fins cut off the car and uh, really just trying to figure out how to get them meshed together uh, so that it kind of looks like it's coming out of the wall a little bit. So what we need to do is start bracing this thing up so that it'll sit up here okay. like this. We start working on it, and you know, out of the, out of sudden, just Pete shows up. It's back here. You know, starts going haywire. Where's the We we got one back here. There's one in the back, in the back over there, in the back. All right, let me explain something before you guys go everything else up. Okay, you already screwed it up. Move, move, move. He put me in charge of it. I thought he was just gonna let me do my thing, but no, here he comes, just. Bitching from the beginning. Okay, you got the thing looking like this, dude. That does not look like a set of fins that you're looking at like that from the side. I gave trust in these guys. Man, it looks good just like that, dude. I figure, you know, if he's got the picture he drew, at least he can do it the way that he did it. You got this thing looking like a sandwich or something. Dude. Oh, now it looks good, Pete. I'm doing my drawing that he told me to do, and now he's telling me that it's the wrong way. That's where I wanted it, right there. Where they're all the same height. I guess he wanted them straight, and we ended up making them, you know, placing them at an angle. Really, that's what you want. You want it up like this and not down like that. You got to have them, you know, perpendicularly parallel. Well, you know, just because okay. what, something He's got that's one fin like this and the other and one like, or however the hell it was. Head doesn't necessarily, I had him draw you know, the picture. He drew me a know, picture know, of the car. You told me, make it wrong. Do whatever the do. All right. All right, whatever, dude. Another good day for Pete. There you go. What's up, I got Carlos? Paint, Pedro. You got the paint, dude? Yeah, I got your paint. Yeah, you got it. Hold bed. on, bud. I can see that's different. Hold on, dude. You just hang on a second, bud. 
No, but I, this ain't right. I can already tell it's a whole different color, buddy. He sends me back this Porsche red or, you know, some exotic bright neon red color. Is it paint that you say? No, this ain't the paint that I say, but I can. You are joking me. Look at that. Did you give him the wrong a, code? No. There's only about a million reds, I didn't give him you know. a code. I sent the piece down there to match it. Now, my brother. Are you serious? Carlos, I told you to tell him to make sure it was right, dude. I told you that. I'll tell you what. No, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Look, baby. I'll tell you what, bud. You just leave all this here. OK? Thank you very much, Carlos. It's not your problem. You're right. Yes, I'm gonna Take it right, easy, baby. OK? okay. Have you a tell good day. Tell him to down there. OK? I literally had to go down there like usual, OK? This guy's making me come all the way to the down here for nothing. Hey, what's up, Pete? What the hell, dude? What do we got here, man? And what do you think he does? Come on, dude. Look. OK? Don't tell me that color's the same color, dude. You're charging me $650. What the hell's that for, dude? Say, man, that's blendable right there. <laughs> no, that, dude, we are <laughs> Let me explain it to you, dude. We aren't blending, GG. He's like Larry. You can't laugh at him. You laugh with him. That is not the same color, Gigi. That's the color you gave me, though, man. No, that's the color I gave you right here. Look at my name, dude. You can't piss that guy off. That's why his name's Gigi, because he's always laughing. He's got that big face with the big smile. Come on, bud. I'll take care of it, man. I'm not paying for that, dude. I don't want it. I'll take care of it, man. $650 for a gallon of paint? I had to close my shop down just to drive down there to get the paint. Here you go, man. You're giving me walk-in prices, OK? You see what I'm trying to say? Where's my cups and my strainers? You aren't even offering that. You ain't even going to put my materials in a box for me? I mean, what the hell? I think they ought to give me a discount. I'm a customer 25 years with these guys. How much refund do I get since I came all the way down here to get it? The manager's not here. Can't do it. Man, you ain't treating me fair, Gigi. I'm really not happy with it, dude. And I really don't like the way that you giggle all the time, bud. Oh, I'm always that's why you're man. That's why your nickname's Gigi, Giggles. Yeah. <laughs> OK? I can't believe that crap. We think we've made this awesome piece of art, and Pete comes back in. It looks like a horse is over here. There's the horse's right there. Pretty much what it looked like, yeah. Looking oh, good, man. Yeah. I like what you're doing. It looks, uh, looks good. He's on top of us like. You know, that means he's really interested. I think he's interested. Well, the Mustang's finally painted. Chris is actually doing something on the art project, which, you know, makes me happy. So I can at least get on the lumen and start working on it. Wow. Now that, my friend, is a nightmare. I do mild collision repair. Mild I'm collision. not going to say I do hard hit major collision repair no. like the corporation. I'm not that guy. Look at that frame structure. That's crazy, man. No. I'm this mom and pop, small time guy. So naturally, the frame machine we got is. Hadn't even been 1962. used in years. <laughs> It's a 10 ton, what is Kansas it? Kansas Jack. Jack. You see, that's, you see there? Body shop girl right there here. It's about as old school as old school can get, bud, right here. And this is a tie down frame machine. Tie it to the floor. Okay. Then, of course, you got to tie the car down so when you start pulling on it, the car okay, stays the stationary. Car stays, right. Yeah. And then you start pulling everything out. Is it moving? It's moving. Nobody uses them anymore. Kansas Jack. I don't even think we can buy parts for the frame Probably machine. Probably not. I'll stick it in there. Wow. OK, it's hitting over here, dude. What's it hitting on? Sledgehammer helps, too. Sledgehammer helped a lot. Yeah. My friend Pete gets her done, <laughs> plain and simple. All right, looks like it's going to work, dude. Well, the lumen is starting to take shape. It's coming out good. So I go ahead and send Chris back onto the art project, and I hope he can figure it out all by himself. Me and 
Mario and Charlie, we keep going with this thing. We think we're doing great. Between us, we think we've made this awesome piece of art, or we're on our way to it. And Pete comes back in. Man, you should have been done with this thing yesterday. He's got his little dog in his arm, like he should have a little purse to go along with his dog. It looks like a horse's ass over here. How does it look like a horse's It looks like a horse's ass, dude. Look at it. If you stand it up on the legs, and you take a piece of uh, a mop head and put it on there, what does it look like? A horse's ass. All right, let me show you the horse's ass. Turn it around. There's the horse's ass right there. Hold that right there, Mario. Pretty much what it looked like, yeah. There's the horse's ass. See the tail flapping in the <gasps> wind? It kind of did when he held it up and had a little coat. But either way, I mean, I'm doing exactly what I told him I was going to do. No, I see Why don't you stick it in the horse's ass and get it done, bud? Have a good day, Pete. I think it was kind of a misunderstanding. Pete explained it one way, and Chris drew it up one way, and kind of turned out a third way. <laughs> we spent $700 on this piece of <laughs> George, the CUDA guy, never even gave us any money up front. You see what I'm saying? The pressure's on. We need a, another person <laughs> for the blame, all right? You stick right, with us. Yeah. Blame it on me, huh? With all the problems I got, I definitely don't need any problems for my little dog, Axel. How many times do I got to tell you, don't let what the did... dog out, oh. son of a Get over here, boy. Come here. How's the new little dog doing? Get him, you little Well, I'm wearing this brace because Axel likes to get out. He's going to the street. I told you. You cannot let him out of the house or the shop without a leash on. He runs. Come here. And he won't come back. Get him, get him. And it takes three to four people to catch him. He's like a little rat. Come, come here, on, get him. Come here, Axel. There he goes. Come, come on, here, easy, easy. Come here, come easy. here. OK. He is literally like a race All horse. All over the place. Slash race dog. Get over here. He's a psycho dog. Get him, get him, get him. In the house. In the house. Come no, on. you got him. Come on, come get on, him, come get on, come him. On. All right, I got him. God. Little son of a All right, you grab him, put him on the leash. I told you not to let him out. My bad, I didn't know he was You're off bad. the leash. Be still, be still. Yeah, that is bad. You could have got run over, boy. You could have got run over. Oh my gosh. I used to have a dog, his name was Bruno. Bruno was our buddy. He was my buddy. Okay. He was my shadow. Yes, he was. I used to cut his hair. I did everything for Bruno. He was like the best thing I ever had in my life. Oh, I'm sorry. We lost Bruno last February. It took me a while to get over it, but we decided to go ahead and get another dog, so we got Axel. Hey, whoa, 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 what the hell, bud? I know you're happy to see me. I know you are. That's why you're the only one that understands, aren't you, buddy? You're the only one that understands the real situation, huh? You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm talking about. It takes man's best friend. This little right here is the only thing that keeps you going. Quit looking at that door. We're not leaving yet. We still got to lock the shop down, bud. It's been a long day. Now you're pissed at me. Now you're mad. You won't even look at me. That's all right. Let's go. Come on. Let's get out of here. What happened here? What about it? What's wrong with it, dude? It Man, look at the look at the seam on that thing. Our window still cracked. I mean, I'm not even thing. gonna get mad. I'm gonna keep a smile on my face just like you are, because I don't want to get loud with you, bud. Oh, right, we gotta get it done. This guy's gonna be here at 4 o'clock today, okay? That thing needs to get done. You need to get in your NASCAR mode. My NASCAR mode? Yeah. Here's the situation. I'm working on the lumen over here. Chris is working on the wall art over here. I go ahead and put Minnie and Charlie on the color sanding of the Mustang, and I damn hope it's gonna work out fine. After he painted it, uh, me and Minnie had to color sand it uh, with 1500 and 2000. Uh, we done it by hand. Color sanding and buffing is real important. No, that's really what makes the car look real good. I mean, it's not something you just speed through. I mean, you got to make sure you get all the little spots out of it and everything. It, it takes some time to do it.
Here's the real situation. I need to sell that Mustang and I need to do it fast. Minnie's on my I go ahead and jump in and help. And what do you expect? Brian shows up to look at it again. Looking good, ain't it? What's up, buddy? Brian. Brian, hey, what's going on, Brian? Pete? Yeah, what's Hands up? Hands are wet. How you doing, bud? Good. What's your name? Brayden. Man, you look just like your dad. So what's going on, Brian? Pete, I like what you've done. It looks, uh, looks good. He's on top of us like, you know. That means he's really interested. I think he's interested. Did you tell your wife yet? No, I haven't told her yet. Like I said, it was going to be a surprise. So, uh, cool. so I think she will be a uh, surprise. It would be a nice surprise, that's yeah. for sure. It would be a real surprise I if would... you buy it from me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the guy that I thought wasn't going to come back. Yeah, but he did. But you can, tell he's, you can tell he's an honest guy because he's a family man. Clean you know, cut and all that. Clean cut guy. Yeah. Well, see I really it. need to sell it. If you it, get bro. the chrome on it, you well, get well, it really running need to right. Sell it. I mean, <laughs> we might have a deal. Yeah. I like it. What Brayden... do you think, buddy? Good. Feel how smooth that's going to be. Just run your hand across that. What do you think of that? Real smooth. Well, Pete, if the, the body's right and the engine runs, you got enough chrome on it, I think uh, we might have a deal. If you wanted to put a deposit down or something just to hold it, you know? Well, I'm not, I'm not there yet, but if you got other people interested and really? they, they got the first take. Can you give me a deposit today? No. Please. I don't have $5? I, I only Lunch have... money. No. Anything. We're no. broke. No. We need money. Hands Thank you, wet, Pete. But that's okay. Shake your hand, make a friend, bud. Always remember that. Okay. It'll help you out in life. All right, we'll see you guys in a few days. We'll see you later, yeah. buddy. Thanks. Take care. Thanks for coming over, Brian. See you later. I don't know if he's going to come back or not. But you can't beg him into. Well, what do you want me to do? I got to force him into buying it. got to get this son of a <laughs> old. With the Mustang ready for buffing, I go ahead and jump back on the Lumina, try to get the finishing touches done on it. So Larry, the used car sales guy, can throw me a couple bucks. So we get the car painted. Larry comes over. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Oh, hey, Pete, something. what's going on? How much? How's it going? I was just checking to make sure there wasn't no water leaks on that brand new radiator. Look what's at the up? motor mounts, man. They're, they're kind of going sideways. A totaled out, totaled out Lumina. The whole front end okay. was shoved over like six and a half, inches. twelve inches. Okay, pushed over. He's complaining. Yeah, let's, wow, what's uh, that's a pretty line. And you know he's complaining about the body lines on it. What happened here? What about it? What's wrong with it, dude? It Man, look at the look at the seam on that thing. Yeah. I thought we got a new hood from the junkyard. Look at that. You can't get mad at the guy. I'm trying to laugh with him. I mean, I'm not thing. even going to get mad. I'm going to keep a smile on my face just like you are, because I don't want to get loud with you, bud. And our windows still crack? I thought we could put the silicone stuff in there. Come on, bud. Hey, Manny. Manny. What's the situation? He's hey, got, Larry. He's over here hassling me on this $300 job. I thought it came out pretty good for a totaled-out car, Larry. Larry. You know, come on, dude. So what, what do you else want? do you want to do? We fixed the car for you. Oh. Now we need to get our money, Larry. Oh, okay. $675, dude. 675 You just said 300 What's that, bud? What do you got? Well, I, that's, I, I brought some money over. $100? Well, I got to go to the bank and wait for my paycheck to come in. You know, just just loan me a little bit so I can get this thing sold. Are loan you? you a little bit? You want me to loan you some money to pay us back? Yeah. <laughs> Hope to God he's going to sell it, because he still oh. owes us like 550 bucks. I know. He'll sell it. All right, looky, Larry. This is the situation. Well, it's good enough for what you paid, bud. Thank you, Larry. Hey, thank Shake you. your hand, make a friend. <laughs> we got to go, bud. Thank right. you, thank you. Thank you. And it came out nice for what it was, it for was being nice. Being not and I'm sure Larry will be back like always. He's going to sell that car one and what's he going to do? One more car. It's always one more car. Yeah. I got to say, the paint's looking pretty good. You know, he may have some here, but I don't think we're going to do it by 4 o'clock. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me jack it up. Move. Do that now. <laughs> While I'm trying to get the Mustang done, Chris is trying to save the wall art from total disaster. Turn it over. 
So I've just about got this art piece wrapped up. I need to get this thing finished up today, but my son's out of school, so I bring him in to work with me. How's it going, Blue? You doing all right? He's gonna be hanging out with me a little bit today, man. I'm showing him everything I'm doing, you know, and he thinks it looks pretty cool, but he starts giving me these few little suggestions. What if you, like, put a plane, like, shooting out of it, like, right around here, because it looks like fire? Or you can, like, paint some fire. And then in come Pete. Like, I'm ready for him to just start yelling at me again. I'm telling my son, all right, you may want to go in the next room for a minute. Okay, what are you going to do with the planes? What's up? Uh, now, Blue had a, a good idea. He was saying, man, like, you know, have it kind of, like, flying out, have one flying out. Right. And then uh, maybe like, airbrush some smoke kind of behind it. Well, I don't know about the airbrush, but I like the idea of coming out of there. Pete likes it. Uh, That's the last thing I expected in the world is for Pete to come in and all of a sudden like this thing. I'll tell you what, he's damn lucky his kid came over here and straightened the whole mess up. I'm telling you now, he would not have been giving me any more free tattoos. There would have been cash in the hand. Check that out. Working lights. Bring the bumper in here. That's good right there. Can you believe how, how they made cars back then, dude? I mean, look at this thing. Well, that's why they last 60 years, man. I'm just pulling up here. Can I ask the flyers, please? <laughs> there it is. But we're not done yet. Hold on. Because Blue had one more idea, didn't he? My son came in and saved the day for me this time. Let's get some black smoke on that like it started on fire. OK, there you go, dude. OK. I think we ended up with a pretty nice piece of art, and I think Pete's pretty happy with it now. This is yours, dude. I'm not going to sell it. Are you serious? Yep. What? Nothing. What about the money? We got man. What about money? What's more important, friendship or money? Well, friendship. OK, there you go. We were supposed to sell that and make some money. Well, this is more important. OK. Are you serious? Yeah, man? I'm positive, but take it. I Put it in your tattoo that. shop. And that's what I mean by generosity to the detriment of our checkbook. What are you going to do? You going to let me make another thing after sure, this? Sure, dude. Take it easy, dude. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. All right, buddy. Minnie gets a call from Brian, the Mustang buyer. He's bringing his wife over today. The car's not even together. We gotta get on the stick, we gotta get her done, so this buyer won't drop out. We gotta get it sold. He said we need to get this done, we gotta get all the paper off and get it back together. Pete gets a call today, and he's got a buyer that wants to come look at this thing at 4 o'clock. This guy's gonna be here at 4 o'clock today, okay? To that thing needs to get done. But I got to say, the paint's looking pretty good. You know, he may have something here, but I don't think we're going to do it by 4 o'clock. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me jack it up. Move. Everybody that is here in the shop today is working on this Mustang. Let's we're, get it done. No, we got to get it done, dude. Minnie's grabbing the impact. Where's the lugs? We've got so much to do this thing. You know what you need to do while you're changing these tires? You need to get in your NASCAR mode. My NASCAR mode? Yeah. All right. I, I'm sorry, if someone is walking down the street, Pete would have pulled them over and made them work on this Mustang with it. In the beginning, I thought it was just the biggest piece of crap. Once it's come together, the body looks great. The paint looks immaculate. This thing really looks nice. Finally got them wheels in. It came out nice, didn't it? I'm just it? hoping we'll be able to sell it. And the top looks good. Well, I don't know how the clown act did it, but I'm impressed. It looks great. I think it looks look great. all right. Looking hey. good. Hey, hey Minnie, good, how you dude? doing? Good, good. Man, that was a real surprise. We're out there finishing it up, and he comes rolling up with his Perfect wife. Perfect timing. This is my wife, Leanna. Hi, Minnie. Hey, Brayden. Hey, Brayden. Hey, Brayden. Hello. What's how up, you Junior? been? It's got that pony interior. Look here. Yeah. Come on around it's here, Leanna. Beautiful. Check it out. I love it. Well, uh, what was the price well, again there, Pete? $14,750, Brian. 
How about 14,500? 14,750, but we've already talked about the 14,750. The negotiation has started, and she won't even let me negotiate. We've cash. already talked about 14, it. 14,500 so, cash. She grabs I that money out of, my, out of the guy's hand faster than lightning. Thank, Thank you, Minnie. You. you have this kind of problem with your woman. I appreciate it. Is that why Thank you, you Pete. 14.5. You just made her very happy. I really didn't appreciate I that. I don't care what you You made appreciate. me look like a real jack on that situation. Okay? So? Yeah, and you just made her very happy. So there you go. I'm happy. <laughs> she's happy. You're ha We're all happy, Thank but it's you. a happy day today <laughs> at my friend Pete's. Right? <laughs> As long as the Shake your hand, happy. make a friend, bud. There you go. Thank you. As long as the woman's happy, we're all happy. Right? Exactly. That's right. Go ahead and check it out and see what you think. We're going to be in the office counting that cash, bud. Yay! <laughs> I'm so excited. What no, hold on a second. I really man, don't appreciate you. A beautiful car for his wife. Yeah, and I How do. How come a lot. that's never happened to me? I pay the bills, don't I? But even better. That cash was mine. Going to the bank. I already put it in the bank. And you ain't touching none of it, and you ain't buying no more. So when cars. you saw that cash roll out of his hand, you just had to grab it. What if it would only been fourteen thousand? What if it was thirteen five? You're serious. Damn right. One hundred fifty dollars. Oh, check it That's out, Brainer. Well, I always learn one thing in life that if you start something, so no matter if it's this big or this big, just finish it to the end, no matter what. Life's a struggle, but you gotta get through it. There you go.